Yo, yo, welcome back. That was really cringy, <laughs> but we're gonna keep it in because the idea of these videos is that they're not very good. So I'm gonna keep in that really, really cringy intro for style reasons. Welcome back. This might be the last episode because the semester's ending and I'm technically having one more Sunday here, but this Sunday feels like a final kind of Sunday. You know? So this might also be the final, final episode. These videos being bad is like totally fine with me and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. And I have stuff I wanna do this video and talk about this video so I'm gonna try and not spend super a lot of time on this. But if you guys watched the first episode of this video, um, which you didn't because no one's watching these videos, I talked about how you can find early Nate Wants to Battle content if you look hard enough. And I'm not going to say how you can find it, and I'm not going to say anything more about that. However, I am going to say that you can, and that I have, and that I've been, you know, just doing some research into history, and just to, like, see, you know, because it's interesting. And I like 2013 Nate Wants to Battle, like, infinitely more than I enjoy 2015 Nate Wants to Battle, which is arguably easier to find. None of which I like as much as current Nate Wants to Battle right now. But let's just say that 2015 Nate Wants to Battle is just, he's too excited about everything, and I'm like, dude, chill out. <laughs> chill out for two seconds. But 2013 Nate Wants to Battle is a little more chill, so I like him a little bit better. However, <laughs> 2013 but Anyone's the Battle is objectively worse at making videos and it's really interesting to see somebody who you s consider this like YouTube legend just suck so horribly at YouTube videos. There's a video in particular, I really, I'm gonna look up which video this is so that I can say it. Okay, so it's a video titled Pokemon Rumble U Figure Opening and it was posted on August 31st, 2013. This video is almost 10 years old and let me just say is really bad and obviously beggars can't be choosers right but it's just interesting to me how i feel like nay wants to battle is pretty good at making videos at this moment but obviously 10 years ago nay wants to battle talks about how he loves his shallow depth of field however when you're opening tiny little figures and you put them and you open them and you show them to the camera and they're in focus sort of and then you put them down in front of where you just open them on the table and the table is not in focus we cannot see the figure so most of the video is just not in focus and it's not even like sort of out of focus it's like really out of focus you know it's just funny how I'm filming a YouTube video right now and it's not good because this microphone isn't plugged into anything and it's okay it doesn't matter <laughs> it's whatever because anyone can just post anything to the internet and it doesn't have to be good. Also speaking of, this video also might not be in focus because I can't tell from the viewfinder and I just have it on autofocus so if it's not in focus, oh well. Okay, so with that hopefully short tangent over, let's get into what I usually talk about which is screen time. Yay, it's a reoccurring segment. Okay, so my screen time for the past week was four hours and 30 minutes daily average. And honestly, most of the days I was actually under four hours. I was just, I had a lot of screen time on Thursday. I think it was because I watched a t spiff stream on Thursday. So that boosted the screen time up a lot. My top three apps were YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram. Again, <laughs> I mean, who's surprised? Nobody, no one's surprised. All right, segment over. So I have two things I wanna do this video, and there was just gonna be one thing, but it turned into two things because I had a little bit of an adventure yesterday as the time of the recording this, which was Saturday. So on Tuesday, the, the Tuesday of this week, I interviewed for a job, I'm not gonna say where, but they're like, we need you to do a background check and a drug screening if we wanna further this interview hiring process situation. I'm like, fine. So I complete the background check, it's super easy, just do it on your computer, whatever. So, and then it sends me drug test locations that are near my house. However, I'm not in my house. Obviously, I'm at college. And I also do not have a car here. I was not about to both pay for housing and a parking pass. No, 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 no. I don't have that, I don't got that kind of money. So I don't have a car. So I'm like, I need to go to a drug testing place near where my college is. So on the email, it's like, if you want to do a different location, and you can click this link and so I click the link but there's like 7,000 tests you can choose from and I'm like I don't really know which test I want because I don't know what type of drug test they want me to take I don't know if I want like it's like urine or whatever and I'm like I don't 
know what this drug screening process even is gonna be if I would go to one of those sites they said that was near my house. I um, just click all other tests, that's what I click. And so it lets me put in a little zip code. So I put in the zip code where I am and it shoots out a place and this place has the same name as a place on the email that was near my house and it has the same name as the website I was using. So I'm like, this is probably the place. So I, I dial them on the phone, I wanna ask, is this the place I need to be at? Because I'm not entirely sure because I'm kind of sketchily found it. But I cannot get a human on this phone. All I can get is a phone tree and I don't exactly know where to go on this phone tree because none of the options on the phone tree seem to be helpful to me. And you think that I would recognize this is not the right location, but I don't know what I'm doing. Most of the time in adult world, things are confusing for absolutely no reason. So if I'm confused, perhaps I'm doing it correct. So I'm like, Okay, I should just go to this place and ask a person when I get there. So I book an Uber and it's more money than I want to spend on an Uber because it's always more money than I want to spend on an Uber because there's never any Uber drivers over here. So I hop in an Uber, I go over there, it's like a 13 minute car ride, not a big deal. Sign in and there's like a drug screening option. When you sign in, I'm like, great, there's a drug screening part of this. I bet that I did this correct, hooray. So I sign in. I sit in a little waiting room, they call my name, and I'm like, hey, I'm here for a drug screening. And they're like, oh, we don't do that here. I'm like, Ugh, I came all the way out here and they don't do that here. I'm like, so what do I do? And so she's like, oh, so, you know, it's in the name, if it has like this word in it, they do the drug screening, and if it has this word in the name, they don't. I'm like, how am I supposed to know that? I'm just 19. So anyway, did not get the drug screening. And also, I just kind of spent money on an Uber for no reason. And I don't want to spend more money on an Uber for no reason because I already spent more money on the Uber than I had already wanted to in the first place. So I leave the little office place and I am next to like a fire station. So I go over to the fire station and I there's like a bench under a tree. So I am like, I need just a place to sit down and breathe some deep breaths so I don't have a panic attack. Cause I'm like, I'm stranded without a car, without a means of transportation, unless I pay a lot of money. In this place I've never been before and I can't leave and I don't know where I am. And at this point, not, it has not crossed my mind to call any of my friends for help because I'm the type of person who's like, I don't want to burden my friends with something that is only beneficial to me. It should be someplace where we both have fun, not just, hey, drive me to a drug screening and that's it. I'm like, I have to call my friend and who, who knows, maybe they won't even answer, but I have to call them because I really don't want to spend any more money on an Uber. So I call my friend who has a car and I'm like, hey, I'm stranded. Can you come pick me up? Can you come help me? And I really I really don't feel like explaining the whole situation of how I got there over the phone because it's a little bit stressful and I really just don't want to talk about it at this moment. So she's like, okay, I'll come pick you up. In hindsight, obviously she was going to do that because that's what friends do. But in the moment, I was like, she's probably going to say no because it's a Saturday morning and she's probably kind of half asleep and blah, blah, blah. You know, all the like stupid excuses that your brain makes up but she said yes because obviously she did because she's my friend and that's what friends do so she came and picked me up but she came through the police station side and I had not told her any information about why she was picking me up so she was like why am I picking up Rose at the police station what happened what is going on it was funny in the moment but it's more funny now that it's not that moment now that it's the future I can, it's funnier now. Thank you to my friend. Thank you very much. I'm very thankful for you. So anyway, there's that story. <laughs> I would, you know, I have two things to talk about in this video. I try to make these videos not super long, but this video might be longer because I already planned on doing one thing and then this story happened. So now I have two things to talk about, which, you know, is fine. You roll with the punches. So now that I'm done telling this story, let's get into the second part of the video. Yay. And that is that I'm going to do a stuff tour because I'm going to move out soon and I want to give like a little tour of my area, but I'm not going to give a whole room tour like I did last time because I have a roommate this year, so not all of the room is my space. So I'm just going to give a little tour of like my stuff. So let's get this camera off the tripod so that I can film my stuff and I'm just warning you guys this segment's not gonna be very good but at least it'll be in focus so we can be better than 2013 Nate Monster Battle okay let's do it okay so this is kind of the um, view you guys see when I film on the tripod but let's just you know 
move in here and we can start with this shelf. And I tried to clean up a little bit, but obviously I didn't clean up all the way super well. But we can just start with this top shelf here. This shelf has been mainly for displaying of items. This is the I'm not going to use this shelf other than a display type of shelf. As you can see, I have paid an exposure here on vinyl. He released that earlier this year, I think. I haven't actually tested to see if it works because I don't have a vinyl player over here, but uh, I'll let y'all know on that when I go home and I can play it on my actual vinyl player if it works or not. I hope so. This is the crow and I love the crow very much. My friend gifted this to me. Look at little mini Eric Draven. He's so cute. Cute is not usually the word that you use to describe the crow, but here we are. And this is actually my jewelry box. So I lied about the shelf not being useful. This is the one useful thing that's on the shelf and it's my jewelry box. Behind there, I have a photo that I bought at an art sale. It's an infrared photo of the like angel grave at Lakeview Cemetery. I love Lakeview Cemetery, so I thought it was very cool. You can probably see that I have two Barbies here. And before you be like, oh, you spent so much money on Barbies, I had a gift card to Target and it was the perfect amount to buy two Barbies. So that's what I did. I like this one a lot. I think this one is really cool. I have good review about this Barbie. However, her shorts are not big enough for her booty, so they're open in the back, which I would say is fine if I'm trying to fit like regular Barbie shorts on her because she's curvy, but like she came from the factory, so like why can't her shorts fit? Like why didn't they just design her shorts to fit? Like I don't know. I guess I can also do a review of this Barbie as well. I really like her. I think her costume, her outfit is very, very good. I like it a lot, except she doesn't come with shorts and that shirt is very not long. So it's very easy to just like flash people. Just give her pants or something. This is not dress length. That is a shirt length. I don't know, whatever. I guess I'm not Mattel, so I can't speak. I also have a little mini Viewmaster. Uh, I never had a regular size Viewmaster, but I do have a little mini one. You can recognize this cup here from last year. And I put things in this cup. Wait, hold on. I don't even remember what I put in this cup. What, I, what did I put in this cup? So in this very busy background, so it'll be hard to see, I have a gem from Hippie Fox Rocks. This is also a gift card, but I never went before it was done because I didn't have time. There's a bouncy ball. I don't remember where I got it. What else is in here? I have this bottle opener Disney thing and I have a little baby. <laughs> Uh, that's what I kept in that jar. This is a frog that my friend made me for my birthday. She m makes all of us like little frogs for our birthday and they're all custom based on our personalities. And I love him very, very much. And then obviously we have the classic, we know him from the last video. It's my little boy. I don't actually have a name for him. I don't even know what he is. He kind of reminds me of that creature from that candy game where you, it's called Cut the Rope. I literally was about to be like, where you cut the rope? Because I couldn't remember what it was called, but it's called Cut the Rope. He kind of reminds me of that guy a little bit. This is my old watch that I used to wear every single day, um, but it broke because the little rubber band that kept the like watch attached to you broke. So I got a second watch to replace it and then it also broke so then I replaced it with a little clear elastic band so I guess I didn't need to buy a new watch but you know I guess you always have to try so yeah that's basically the gist of this shelf let's move down this shelf's a little more in shadow because it's underneath we'll start with this remember that free hydro flask I got last year well I got this Starbucks cup at the same place so this was also free. Behind here, I have a, my one and only Rainbow High doll that I will ever own. I told myself I could buy only one of them to avoid buying all of them because there's so much money. So this is the only one that I'm gonna own and I really like her because she is a guitarist. This is a cup full of rubber ducks and it's full of rubber ducks that my friends have given to me because they're all very nice. This is a Furby and I used to have a collection of a whole bunch of these little plastic Furby guys. But then when we moved, we got rid of them and it has been one of my greatest regrets because I miss them a lot. So I was in like a toy store the other day and they had these, so I bought one. And I think this is gonna be the only one I buy for the same reason why I'm only gonna buy one Rainbow High doll is because if I buy a second one, then I will buy 50 of them. And I really do not want that many. I just want one. So this is him. Oh, and over here, everyone's gonna get mad at me because I don't have it in a case, but I don't really care. I found this at a like church sale thing 
and he was $10. This is a Princess Diana Beanie Baby, and if I was a smart person who cared about keeping the value, I would have it in a little plastic box, but I don't really want to do that because I like displaying it on my shelf. So everybody, get mad in the comments. I don't care. Also, they're best friends with a bear that's worth nothing. I bought them together. They came as a set. And this little glass thing that this is holding, I made that in Glass Club. But I made this before they restricted it to people who have taken intro to glass, which I have not. This was the first time I ever worked with glass. I made this little thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it in better light. Look at that. It is kind of crappy, but I made it. And then if you zoom out, we have the little desk area of the shelves. I really only use this to have my laptop on. Uh, you can admire my amazing stickers. And if we look over on this side, we have my much messier area of my workspace. Um, this is my computer. This is where I do my homework. If you want, you can look at my little tack board over here. So, you know... It's kind of generic, and it has some affirmations on it, like you totally rock and go fuck yourself. It's very important to affirm yourself positively, I think. So yeah, there's not really much to say about this corner other than it's a huge mess, but you know, I do get my work done here. It's not really meant for aesthetics, it's meant for business. If you are waiting in anticipation for how the Sad Plant Windowsill Gang is doing, wait no longer, because here it is this year, this year's Sad Plant Windowsill Gang. Most of these plants are not real. I didn't want to make any sad plants. I felt really bad. The This plant is the only real plant here. I guess this is also technically a real plant, but it's moss, so it's not going to die. So yeah, that's the sad plant windowsill gang. Woo! And now we are above everybody. As you can see, there's a long way down. I mainly just came up here to show off my stuffed animals, but most of them I didn't even like, like I only get squishmallows, for a reason. Like, I don't just buy them to have them. I have a story, though. I have a story about this little guy. This little peep rabbit. He's not in focus at all. Hold on, hold on, wait. How am I supposed to do this? I have a story about this peep rabbit. It, I don't know how many people out there have watched GT Live at all, but it's a show with Matt Pat, and also it used to have his wife Stephanie on there. I was really into it back in 2016. If people remember back in 2016, they had a little pillow on their couch called Peepachu, and it was a big version of this little rabbit. They got it for Easter. I've kind of always wanted one since then, but I've never really had, like, the drive to purchase just one for myself because I was always like that's kind of a stupid purchase I don't need it blah 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 one day my friends and I were like we're gonna go to Walmart so we went to Walmart and it's really easy to find other colors of peep rabbits for some reason but it's really hard to find a yellow peep -a chew you know so I was complaining about it to my friends that I've wanted one since 2016 and that I've never bought one for myself and they had these little peep rabbits except they were like in candy and stuff and it also had a little hat on it and I was like I want like a legit real mini peep rabbit you know we left the store I did not buy the peep rabbit that day a few days later Later, my friend texts me like, hey, I have something for you. And so they bring me this little peep rabbit. They were like, I remember in the store you said you wanted one. And I was, I'm a seamstress, so I unsewed the hat from it, and here you go. And it was literally the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me in, in my life. So that was actually the whole reason I came up here to show off my stuffed animals, was not to actually show them off, but just to show off this one, this peep -chew. And to the friend that gave this to me, thank you so very much. I'm very appreciative of it. And panning up from the peep rabbit... We have the top shelf of shame. This is where I keep the stuff I don't really have room for. So I have a whole bunch of boxes up here and some containers. I have a makeup mirror that I don't have room for anywhere else. And I also have my Lego orchid, which I normally would have on display other places, but it's so tall it doesn't fit anywhere, so it has to go on the top shelf of doom. Hello, and welcome to my kitchen slash the Eddie Van Halen corner. Those are my shoes, and that is my mirror, and this is my kitchen area. Oh, hi! As you can see, this is where I keep all of my, like, kitchen and other stuff. I have my mug collection. Yeah, that's really all there is to say about this area. This is where I keep my denim jackets as well. I don't know if I'm in focus, but that's okay. That's really all I had to say this week. This might, this is actually, we're just gonna say this is my final episode of this, for now at least. So yeah, just thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed all the videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy just life in general. I think it's important to do that. And uh, the, th this is going to end, this video and this series. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!